Nancy. I said freeze. You're under arrest. Okay. Take it easy. Are you insane? What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm arresting Harmony's number one fugitive. This doesn't make any sense. You helped Luis escape from the apartment. Why did you follow us up here? Oh, I get it. You can't stand to leave Luis alone, can you? Careful with that thing, Fancy. You're gonna hurt somebody. Put that thing away, Fancy. Shut up! Or I'll arrest you two for aiding and abetting. Oh, how dare you? No, no, no it's okay, Sheridan. I understand. Oh, I trained you well. Fancy's just doing her job. Oh. Should have never let you help him get away. Guilt is a terrible thing. She doesn't feel guilty about letting you escape. She can't stand to see us alone together for five minutes. That's why she's here. No, no, no. That's not true. We already worked that out, right, Fancy? The three of us? Love's about trust. You trust me, right? Damn. I got here as fast as I could. You know what? I don't want to hear anything from you. Mm. Dispatcher relayed your message that you had located Luis. You called for backup? You bitch! You called him? Of course. Smart officers don't work alone. And you're not furious? She just sold you out. Sheridan, please. What did I say? Fancy's only doing her job. I reminded Fancy that I can't have cops turn a blind eye to crime. I told her that she would never get her badge unless she cooperated. Sam. Come on, Luis is your best friend. Is this really necessary? He's already managed to escape twice. If I had any brains, I think I would wrap him in chains. Oh, come on. You know what? You better watch yourself, or else I'll cuff you next. What? I take it you were the one who drove the getaway car? Of course not. Oh, give me a break. Of course she did. How did Sheridan get up here if she didn't help you escape? All right. I admit it. I forced Sheridan to drive up here. No surprise there. I'll question you when you get downtown. Right now, I gotta get you behind bars. Sam Bennett, I never thought you were a fool until now. You know damn well that Luis is innocent of attacking Fancy and murdering Ray Thomas. Doesn't matter what I believe. I have to follow procedure. Now, he screwed up enough already. I have to go by the book. Luis is going to jail, and it is all your fault. It's okay, Fancy. I, I understand. Do you? You're just doing your job. In fact, if you were in my class right now, I would give you top marks. Damn you for being sneaky and selfish, Aunt Sheridan! Fancy, don't blame yourself. I don't. All right. What's wrong? What is it, Fancy? Why are you looking at me like that? No, no, you cannot blame yourself for my mess. I know that you didn't have a choice. I know that Sam threatened not to give you your badge if you didn't cooperate, and I know how hard that you have worked for it. Ah, oh, you just wait, though. It's incredible, that feeling when you have it in your hand. All right, let's go. This is ridiculous. Hey, Fancy. I'll see you at the jail. You. You are such a bitch. No, you are the bitch. You desert your husband and your son to run after Luis. You help him escape, bring him up here to your little love nest. You just can't stay away from him. Well, you bet I helped him escape. Someone had to. He was falsely accused of a crime that he did not commit by you. I did no such thing. This just goes to prove how bad you are for Luis. First you accuse him of a crime he did not commit, and then you track him down like a dog, and you arrest him. Leave him alone, Fancy. Leave us alone.
Okay. The gloves are off. So you admit what happened up here. <laughs> I can't believe your gall. What are you going to tell Chris? About what? Oh, come on. I'll just try and get some sleep, okay? I'm sure you'll feel better in the morning. Louise. Would you lie down with me until I fall asleep? Of course. Would you please hold me? Sure. I will tell my husband and son how much I love them. And confess. Confess what? I will tell them I was up here helping an old friend, which is a lot more than I can say for you. Oh, stop accusing me. How do you show your man how much you love him? By making him out to be the sick monster that attacked you. I did not. And now you arrest him and bring his best friend up here to drag him back to jail. Good going, fancy. Once Louis starts to think about it, he will never forgive you. I can't believe you. What a selfish, greedy bitch. I mean, we both know why you came up here with Luis. I'm surprised you don't check into jail with him. Oh, that's right. It's because they tend to separate the male prisoners from the female. You are such a child. You make no secret out of the fact that you still want Luis, but you want your husband and your child, too? Sheridan, you think you can have it all, but watch out. It is all going to blow up in your face. That is, if you don't end up back in the nut house again. Everything I've done is out of love for Luis. Now, you say that you love Luis, but you are nothing but a traitor to him. You are nothing but lethal to him. After what happened up here tonight? What? What happened up here? Not nothing I care about. Don't worry, he's all yours. You won. You don't have to worry about me anymore. <laughs> <laughs>